Over 400 million pounds of raw silk are produced every year around the world. Behind that number lies the work of tens of billions of tiny creatures, each transforming mulberry leaves into one of humanity's most luxurious materials. Across the vast silkworm farms of Asia, the journey of silk begins with a process that appears simple but demands precision in every detail. Inside each delicate cocoon lies a filament tens of times thinner than a human hair, a material that helps shape trade routes and the refined craftsmanship of entire civilizations. Join us in this documentary as we uncover how humans create each strand of silk, from the fragile cocoon to the shimmering fabric that has defined elegance for centuries. China is now the center of the global silk industry, accounting for nearly 70% of the world's total production and generating more than $5 billion in export revenue. These figures reflect not only the enormous scale of production, but also the endurance of a craft that has existed for more than 5,000 years. Silk, the timeless symbol of elegance, has long connected Eastern and Western cultures while carrying deep historical and artistic value. Today, it continues to appear in high-end fashion collections worth hundreds of thousands of dollars from Hermes, Dior, Valentino, Elie Saab, and many other prestigious brands. To create the purest silk fibers, the silkworm rearing stage plays a crucial role in the entire clothes production cycle. Every aspect of their nutrition is monitored with meticulous precision. Their only source of food is mulberry leaves, harvested from specialized farms located next to the rearing houses to preserve the highest nutritional value. Each morning, farmers or automated harvesters carefully select the middle and lower parts of the branches where protein and chlorophyll levels are at their peak. The freshly cut leaves are then taken immediately to the preparation area where they are sorted and gently dried using natural cool air. Since silkworms do not drink water during their lifetime and absorb moisture only from the leaves, even a thin layer of dew can cause the entire colony to become bloated or infected. Once the mulberry leaves are completely dry, they are immediately delivered to the rearing area where millions of silkworms begin their most critical growth phase. Inside the rearing rooms equipped with microclimate control systems, thousands of trays are neatly stacked in multiple tiers, each holding hundreds of worms at the same stage of development. The mulberry leaves are cut into different sizes depending on the age of the worms. The young larvae feed only on soft leaves sliced into pieces about 0.2 inch long, while mature worms require thicker leaves about 1.5 inches in length to stimulate the silk spinning process. On average, each silkworm consumes an amount of leaf equal to about 25,000 times its body weight over its 25-day life cycle. They are fed four to five times per day at fixed intervals to synchronize their metabolism and growth rate. After each feeding, the automated system lowers the humidity to 70% to prevent mold, then raises it back to 80% during digestion. As the sound of leaf chewing fades into the air, the entire rearing hall shifts into a new rhythm, slow, silent, and filled with anticipation. Under the soft, diffused light, the silkworm's bodies gradually turn translucent white, as delicate as a veil of mist over newborn silk. The room falls completely quiet, leaving only the gentle warmth in the air and the subtle vibrations of millions of living organisms preparing to spin their cocoons. The automated microclimate system lowers the temperature to about 75 degrees Fahrenheit and maintains humidity at 75%, creating the ideal conditions for silk glands to work at full capacity. On multi-tiered frames made of bamboo or plastic, each silkworm finds its own spot, anchors itself, and begins moving its head in a figure eight pattern. The liquid protein secreted from its silk glands hardens upon contact with air, forming a strand only 0.0004 inch thick, yet capable of stretching up to 3,900 feet. Over the next 48 to 72 hours, millions of synchronized motions weave a sea of milky white cocoons that fill the entire room, 
each weighing about 0.07 ounce. As the ivory white hue spreads across the rearing frames, the entire farm seems to move into a different rhythm, calm yet filled with urgency. After about 72 hours since the silkworms stopped spinning, workers begin harvesting the first batch of cocoons. Each frame is carefully inspected to ensure that the cocoon moisture level does not exceed 12% and the hardness remains between 0.3 and 0.4 Newton before being lowered for processing. In the past, this entire process was done by hand. Each cocoon had to be gently separated with fingertips, taking nearly eight hours to process 10,000 cocoons. Today, that painstaking task has been replaced by far more precise mechanical systems. A hydraulic hoist with a lifting capacity of 660 pounds raises and lowers the spinning frames onto a conveyor belt running at 33 feet per minute where semi-automatic cocoon separators operate continuously. A vibration mechanism set at 80 Hertz, combined with precisely calibrated air pressure, separates tens of thousands of cocoons within minutes while preserving the delicate silk filaments only a few inches thick. Thanks to this innovation, harvesting efficiency has increased tenfold compared to manual work, while material loss has dropped to less than 2%. After leaving the farm, the trays of cocoons are taken to the manual sorting area, a stage that demands both precision and experience from skilled artisans. On long bamboo tables covered with fine mesh, layers of cocoons are spread thin and examined carefully under natural light. Each cocoon is inspected to assess its uniformity, luster, and shell thickness. Only those with a perfectly round shape, a smooth surface, in a shell thickness of about one to two hundredths of an inch, qualify for the high-grade silk production line, where the purity and consistency of each filament must be nearly flawless. Immediately after sorting, the qualified batches of cocoons are sent to the heat treatment section, a critical stage that determines the structural integrity of the silk fibers. To prevent the larvae inside from maturing into moths and damaging the cocoon structure, Operators end the silkworm's life cycle using three different methods, steaming, drying with hot air, or immersing the cocoons directly in water heated between 185 and 203 degrees Fahrenheit. Throughout the process, the cocoons are gently stirred to ensure even heat distribution without deforming the delicate silk shell. The high temperature not only halts biological transformation, but also sterilizes and stabilizes the protein structure of the silk, keeping the inner fibers more flexible and allowing them to be stored for longer periods. From the heat treatment area, the dried cocoons are immediately moved to a row of warm water baths that give off a faint mist. Here, the saracen, a natural gum coating the silk filaments, begins to soften in water maintained between 150 and 195 degrees Fahrenheit. A gentle stirring system keeps the cocoons evenly submerged, allowing the outer shell to gradually loosen and take on a subtle sheen as if covered by a thin veil of dew. When touched, the surface is no longer brittle but slightly elastic, a sign that the internal fibers are ready for the most delicate stage of the entire process. The factory at this stage moves in harmony with the rhythm of steam and metal. The gentle bubbling of water blends with the steady hum of spinning reels, forming a mechanical symphony for one of the most intricate stages of silk production. Inside the water baths maintained at 195 degrees Fahrenheit, round brushes rotate slowly, simultaneously cleaning off any remaining saracen while searching for the loose end of a silk filament so fine it's nearly invisible to the naked eye. Once the filament end is found, the worker carefully threads it into the reeling machine, where a synchronized drive system operates in perfect rhythm. Threads from five to 10 cocoons are combined, evenly stretched, and wound onto bobbins at a speed of 980 feet per minute. Each rotation catches the light shimmering like silver. The fine silk flows through the reels like a mist, gleaming like liquid metal poured from the very breath of the silk itself. 
On average, a single cocoon can produce about 3,300 feet of filament, and it takes approximately 3,000 cocoons to make one pound of raw silk, the foundation for the most exquisite silk fabrics in the world. To transform shimmering silk filaments into finished fabric, the threads are guided through a series of spinning machines where spindles rotate at speeds between 6,000 and 8,000 revolutions per minute. In the quiet atmosphere, only the low hum of winding wheels and the gentle hiss of steam from the heating system can be heard. Gradually, the fine strands twist and intertwine, forming a unified, durable structure while retaining the natural softness of silk. At this stage, artisans may blend fibers from different types of cocoons to achieve variations in thickness, brightness, or unique woven patterns. The most delicate aspect lies in the twist ratio. Fibers like wool or alpaca require a tight twist for tensile strength, whereas silk, with its continuous length and smooth surface, needs only a light twist, just enough to maintain cohesion while preserving the signature drape and lustrous sheen that define true silk. When the spinning reels come to a stop, the silk's journey of refinement continues. The shimmering bundles of threads are transferred to the degumming section, where water, heat, and chemistry come together in a delicate purification process. Inside the water baths maintained between 140 and 160 degrees Fahrenheit, a mild alkaline solution is gently stirred, slowly dissolving the saracen layer that coats each filament. Beneath the soft mist, the threads gradually reveal their bright, translucent cores, smooth as if polished by light itself. Once the gum has completely dissolved, the silk becomes lighter, softer, and so smooth it nearly slips through the worker's fingertips. In that moment, each strand seems to awaken from a long slumber, transforming from raw matter into a living material, pure, radiant, and full of quiet energy. To infuse silk with vibrant colors, the threads are taken to the dyeing section, a place where steam, pigment, and the aroma of natural herbs blend into a warm, sensory atmosphere. Inside deep dyeing vats maintained between 175 and 195 degrees Fahrenheit, natural pigments extracted from indigo leaves, pomegranate rinds, rosewood, or matter roots slowly penetrate every filament, spreading like thin wisps of smoke. The glossy bundles of silk are soaked for four to six hours, gently stirred in circular motion to ensure the dye saturates evenly to the core, creating luminous tones and exceptional durability. In traditional weaving workshops, this ancient dyeing method remains the soul of ikat and brocade patterns, where each hue is born from the breath of the earth, the rhythm of water, and the touch of human hands. Once the silk threads are saturated with the colors of nature, they are brought to the weaving hall, the place where their long journey finally takes form. Inside a space glowing with reflections from thousands of luminous filaments, the looms begin to move, producing a steady rhythm like the heartbeat of the factory. The scent of steam, the hum of the reels, and the shimmering light reflected off the silk intertwine, creating an atmosphere both vibrant and serene where craftsmanship and technology work hand in hand. Depending on their purpose and regional tradition, the silk may be woven on handcrafted bamboo looms, where artisans skillfully guide each warp and weft thread in harmony with the rhythm of their feet and the glide of the shuttle. Every gentle sweep creates a subtle vibration, a moment where patience and precision merge into patterns as fluid as flowing water. In modern factories, large industrial looms equipped with digital sensors and automated thread guiding systems allow thousands of strands to move in perfect synchronization, accurate down to the thousandth of an inch. Each filament interlaces and blends, forming a smooth, lustrous fabric surface that reflects light into countless shades. Under the hands of humans and the rhythm of machines, silk is woven not only into fabric, but also into a story of endurance delicacy, and creativity, 
where matter and spirit converge, breathing new life into the timeless world of silk. Behind the shimmering glow of silk lies a story of patience, intelligence, and humanity's timeless desire to master nature. From the smallest of living creatures, we have created a material that carries the breath of time. In today's technological age, silk is not just a cultural heritage. It is a reminder that true beauty is born from precision, care, and respect for the natural world. What do you think? Can this ancient thread, which has endured for thousands of years, continue to inspire the materials of the future? Share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe so you won't miss the next story.